بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم my second secondary student today إن شاء الله we will start our revision we will start with module one please turn on your box on page five what's the title here we have that's incredible that's impossible to believe or difficult to believe move to the cover page here we have the objectives of this module talk about mysterious and unusual events incidents talk about interesting buildings and landmarks for example we have here Mecca Tower learn how to sequence past actions to arrange past actions and events learn how to report statements questions commands and requests learn to write a description of a place building and a story acquire skills and strategies learn skills and strategies that will help you in the exam let's start here uh, this page is all about uh, reading and you have here new vocabulary you have to know the meanings and memorize here vocabulary we can see reporting verbs what reporting verbs are what someone said about someone or something without saying said or told this is about this vocabulary I thought you uh, do it before explain yourself I beg you what about this big? What's the, the meaning of big here? Ask eagerly, promise, order. Actually, here it's ask eagerly. Who is Eric? He wondered aloud. He fell thinking here. Want, wonder, think. This is wondered in the past, so thought aloud. And here you have these in bold. These words in bold match with these meanings. We want to move to the grammar here. We have a grammar. It is past perfect simple, past perfect progressive. When I can use past perfect simple and past perfect progressive, it's better to go to the grammar reference on page 77 Let's do it together, please. We have here past perfect simple. The past perfect simple here is used. Why? What's the reason? To describe an action which was completed before a specific point of time in the past. So an action completed in the past before a specific point. For example here, my mom had done the washing up by midnight so this action completed before midnight i use here past perfect simple also to describe an action that was completed before another action in the past so describe an action completed before another action look at this example the train had already left when we got to the station so first we go to the station then the train uh, then the action here the train had already left the, f the first action completed the train had left then the another action that we got to the station we can use these expressions already ever never just when by the time after by before etc we can find the irregular verbs on page 81 for here for these for example done here left these are the third participle this is all about past perfect simple what about past perfect progressive i had been working he had been working or sleeping so the past perfect progressive is used. Why we use progressive here? To emphasize, to make sure that, or to focus 
the, on the duration of an action that took place before another action in the past. It's similar, but here I am focused on the duration. He had been living in London for 15 years. So I am focused on the time here, the duration when he moved to Glasgow. Also why I use past perfect progressive to refer to an action whose duration caused visible results at a later point of time in the past. To refer whose duration caused visible results. So I can see the results. Look here at this example. The women were tired. Why? Because they had been cleaning the house all day. So we can here see the result that the women were tired. Also the time expression is similar already by the time for since after. These are related to the time. So here we have past perfect simple, past perfect progressive. Robin we had remained, had remained. This is past perfect simple, unknown to Europe until this point of time, 1722, when Dutch explorer Jacob Roggeveen discovered it. This is past simple, discovered. Which action happened first? This one had remained unknown. The second one here, when this Dutch explorer discovered it. Watch tenses are used here. This is past perfect simple. Look at number two. The inhabitants had been living. So we have here past perfect progressive consists of had plus been plus the verb with ing on this remote island for centuries. How long had? So here I emphasize on the time on the duration. How long had the inhabitants been living on the remote island? For centuries. Which tense is used here? Used past perfect progressive. Read the uses here as we done before in the grammar reference. The past perfect simple uh, consists of had plus past participle. The past perfect progressive consists of had plus been plus ing form. For more details, you can go to page 77. Let's move here to the next page. We can see here listening and reading and new vocabulary. You have to memorize and match the meanings in these uh, tasks. We have here phrasal verbs with up. We have many verbs and uh, consist of verb and up. So we have here phrasal verbs. Give us another meaning. Match these with this answers. Let's move to the grammar here. Reported speech statements. What about this statement? Reported speech. It's different between this and between direct speech. Let's go together to page 77, grammar reference, to make the picture clear for us. Reported speech statements, because we will study reported speech for other, like uh, questions, commands. So these four statements. In direct speech, we give the exact words that someone said. The words of the speaker are put in the quotations mark. Look here, we can see the quotations mark. This is quotation mark, okay. Thomas said, Bob is on the phone. So I put the exact words here, here in this indirect speech. But in reported speech, we give the meaning of what someone said, but with some change, and without quotation marks. We use a reporting verb, usually say or tell, followed by that, which can be omitted, can be deleted, and reported statement. Look here. We have this indirect speech. Thomas said Bob is on the phone. When we uh, put it in reported speech, 
Thomas said that Bob was on the phone. As was. We have here said that. Okay. We you say when there is no indirect object, I can fix the car, he said. He said that he couldn't fix the car. So we say here, there's no indirect object. We use tell when there is an indirect object. I will be late, Tom, he said. So he told Tom he would be late. There is, we said here tell because there is indirect object. We have here many changes. When we change a sentence from direct to reported speech, be aware of this change. Pronouns and possessive adjectives change according to the meaning of the sentence. I like your new bike. This is indirect, said Ian. How I transform it to this. Ian said that he, I, changed it to he liked my new bike. Yours changed to my new bike. So when you change from direct to reported speech, be aware of these chains, pronouns and possessive adjectives. When a sentence changes from direct to reported speech, tenses, models, and time expressions change as follows. You have to memorize. Present simple change to past simple. Ken said, I want to buy a new car. He said that he wanted. This is want, present simple. We change it to past simple. To, he wanted to buy a new car. Present progressive. Change to past progressive. Past simple. Change to past perfect simple. When I have a, a sentence here with present perfect simple, I have to change the tense to past perfect simple. For example, Tim said, I've seen the documentary. Tim said he had seen, this is past perfect simple, the documentary. Present perfect progressive changed to past perfect progressive. Will changed to would, can changed to could. And we have also conditional sentence type one changed to conditional sentence type two. May changed to might, must changed to had to, now changed to then, today to not changed to that day or that night, yesterday changed the previous day, this morning or this year, that morning or that year. You have to memorize these changes to uh, form a correct reported statement. Here, change to there, tomorrow, the next day, ago, before, last week, last month, the previous weeks, the previous month, next week, next month, the following week and the following month. Okay, and we have here practice. We will do uh, at the end of this video, we will do the round up. Then we will move to page here, the next page. We have listening and speaking. Then we have writing a description of a place or building. I thought that your, uh, I think your teacher uh, told you to do this exercise. So you have to pay attention about the outline to write a description of a place. You have to write opening paragraph contains some general information about the place. Then main part consists of two paragraphs. Describe the place, atmosphere and special features. Say what there is to see and what to do there. We have conclusion. Summarize your points, make a general comment or say how you feel about the place. Tell us your opinion. This is about writing. Then we have reading here. This is about hungry, blogger, coat, red-handed. Uh, there is many vocabulary here. We have to match with their meaning and memorize. We have here words related to crime. And here we have expressions with the word time. And also we have 
B plus propositions. And we have exercises related to this vocabulary. Let's move to the grammar here. Reported questions, commands, and requests. What we did before is reported speech, uh, which is statements. Now we will have overlook about reported questions, commands, and requests. It's better to go to the grammar reference on page 77 and 78. Reported speech for questions. We usually reported questions with the reporting verbs ask, wonder, and the expressions want to know. The verbs in reported questions are in the affirmative form. Why did you go to the doctor? He asked. We want to change it here. He asked me why I had gone to the doctor. What's the changing here? We have here did. What is did here? We haven't. Did. And what about go? Gone. We have here had gone. So here the verbs in the reported questions in the affirmative forms change to this. If the direct question begins with a question word, the reported question also begins with the same question. Don't change the word. Don't change the question word. Where are you going? He asked. He asked me where I was going. We just changed. Here are to was. But we had, we have to put the same question word here. Where, where. If the direct question does not begin with a question word, the reported question begins with if or whether. If we didn't have the question word, so we have to begin with if or whether. Did you enjoy the festival? He asked. We don't have where, what. So we have did you enjoy the festival? He asked. He asked me if or whether I had enjoyed the festival. When we change questions from direct to reported speech, pronouns, tenses, adverbs change in the same way in the reported statement. So you have to memorize and remember what we said about reported statements and apply it in this grammar. What about commands and requests? We commonly use tell, command, or order when we report commands and ask or beg when we report requests. The imperative changed to to plus base form. And the negative imperative, so we have here imperative, the, uh, here um, affirmative, and we have negative. Not plus, to plus base form. Look at the first sentence. The imperative, sit down, Tony, changed to Dan told Tony to sit down. To plus here to plus the base form. Don't tell anyone, please. We have here negative. Don't tell anyone, please. Larry said. We change it to Larry asked me not to tell anyone. We use not plus to plus till this is the base form. Also, we will do, do this uh, practice of the roundup. Let's move to, uh, we have here listening, we have speaking, we have here writing, write a story. Pay attention here to the outline, how to write a story. We have here introduction, we have the main parts and conclusion. Let's move to round up here, vocabulary and grammar. What can we see in this A? Choose a word or phrase that most appropriately completes each sentence. Number one, Tony, his brother, that he would take him to the park the following day. What about this? So we have Tony promised his brother. 
Lisa up at Noah's house about an hour late. Lisa what? What's the verb with up? Turned up. Three, the two men were with theft. What about these two men? They have charge with, the, with theft. Dinosaurs inhabited in uh, the earth. So what about here, the dinosaurs? I should start with once upon a time. Five, his behavior is very, perhaps he is criminal, suspicious. What are you two? Hmm, what about here? Two what? Up two. You look very suspicious. Suspicious. Seven. I like to go for a long walk the countryside. So from or for the for the time being. I like to go, not for the time being, it is for, from time to time. The view from Burj Khalifa is, what about this Burj Khalifa is breathtaking, very amazing. The man handed me the envelope and then he vanished, disappeared. When he Realized he was surrounded by the police. He agreed to give. Here to give uh, the child back to his parents. He kidnapped. Let's do uh, a quick revision here for grammar. Choose a word or phrase that produces grammatically correct sentence. Let's do it. By the time I got there, Peter had already left. After I had given in my exam paper, I realized that I had forgotten to put my name on it. Three, my friends were upset when I arrived. Tom was tired because he, what? What about Tom here? He had been working. Afaf? said that she would cook dinner the next day. Number six, the police officer follow him. So the police officer asked, it's the here, asked me to follow uh, the thief. Bob wanted to know if the <coughs> Bob wanted to know if the book belonged to me. Eight, I asked my mom where my t-shirt was. Number nine, the teacher told us that a guest speaker would be coming to our class on Monday. The last one we have ten, I told my friend not to talk. We have here negative during the presentation. That's all about module one. For more revision, you can visit uh, AIN website and uh, Twitter account. Thank you for watching. Until that time, have a nice day. Thank you.